Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Eat Smoke Drink. Oh, I am just pumped today. Pumped. So it's my mission to try as many rare malts bottlings I as I possibly can. Um, and obviously I'm gonna try it with a tasting group that I um, that we run. And uh, look Convil Moore is a recognizable name, it's a closed distillery, and <clears throat> I'm not even gonna I'm, I'm not even gonna um, go through too much of it. You should know what it is, if not, go and research it. But it's Convil Moore, Ray Maltz, 24 years old, that's 59.4%. Woo! That's a kind of percentage that makes me moist. So, Convil Moore, extremely unicorn-like, um, and this actually belongs in our tasting group. Um, the night aptly dubbed drinking unicorn's blood because Convil Mort is kind of like drinking unicorn's blood like you know Voldemort you know drinking the unicorn's blood to get some life this is kind of it okay so let's get nosing because I cannot wait anymore oh goodness gracious nail polish mixed with peppermint some a bouquet of herbs green apple skin green apple flesh and skin baby powder like talc you know the Johnson Johnson's kind that makes you sick Oh, wow. there's a chalkiness to it. That's where I get the talc from, the chalkiness. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to pick a dried fruit. I can't quite get that dried fruit. I can't pick that dry. There's a dried fruit in there, like a fruitiness, but it's a burnt sugar. Definitely that soot of that old style or because it's been in the bottle for a while. So this was distilled in 1978, 2003, almost 20 years in the bottle. It could be old bottle effect, it could be the style, but it has got that soot, that carbon once again, the minerality that you don't get in modern expressions. So it could be the style of distilling once again, or it could be the bottle starting to leach into the spirit. Time. Play Doh. Pine resin. Oh, excellent. Oh, wow. Burnt sugar sweetness rose water definitely definitely apples today green apple licorice cloves and aniseed just a hint ginger heat ginger heat and a little bit of ginger but ginger heat and candied ginger but it's sweet it is a sweet whiskey definitely not a savory whiskey but a sweet whiskey but with some of that herbal bouquet so rose petals, rose water, a little bit on the palate, not too much, just a hint. And it tastes like um, hot stones on a hot summer's day when you spray water on stones and then the heat dries the water and you smell that hot wet stone. You get some of that. The oak influence is relatively light, not too heavy, which I love. So it's not too woody, it's not too tanniny. Um, I'm guessing there might be a little bit of a sherry influence in there, but I don't quite know because I can get the coconut and vanilla from the quintessential bourbon. It's, you know, I mean, I'm cheating, but it's not dark enough on the look for sherry, but I'm getting some of that spice, um, fruitcake spice, but really it's licorice. It's a light hint of licorice in there. Mm. What I love about remote bottlings 
and old style bottlings. So I'll just remember old style bottlings, especially at this kind of ABV, is that it's complete. It's not watered down, the flavors aren't separated, it's cohesive, it's got flavor cohesion. And the finish is just phenomenal. Like the aftertaste is just something that I cannot explain, except for the fact that it's just lingering and it's just coating my mouth, the oiliness. It's, it's viscous um, and it just sticks onto the palate and every sip develops in its own. Every sip gets stronger and stronger. Some whiskies you get out there, um, shit whiskies, is when you drink them, every sip you, your numb gets tongue. Uh, your, your numb gets tongue. Your tongue gets numb. <laughs> your tongue gets numb. Sorry, it's a few too many. And uh, your tongue gets numb. But in this, your tongue doesn't have the chance to get numb. It just keeps building. The flavor builds. The flavor develops with every sip. Little sips, not big sips as well. Oh, wow. Mm, it's got fruit. It's got flowers. It's creamy. It's malty. Oh, wow. Look, it's fucking delicious. Um, Condor Moor is generally pretty good. Um, I've had only the privilege of having a few Condor Moors, um, and some of them have been way better than others. The Condor Moor 36 has definitely been one of the best Condor Moors I've ever had. I've actually had a 40 before, and that wasn't the best Condor Moor I've, I've had. It was okay, but it was really fiery. But I would say this is going to be, out of the four, maybe five I've tried, this is going to be the top two. Um, this is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. It is what whiskey should be today. And uh, I mean, I sometimes just think to myself, you know, why do they close it down? Why do they stop it? I mean, if they're producing bottles like this, why do they stop? I don't understand. I don't understand. Diageo, if a rep have se can see this, can you please tell me why you'd close down Convermore? I just don't understand. Oh, it's just what whiskey should really be. I mean, None of this generic shit, you know, that comes out and it's just all tastes the same. Um, it's designed to be smashed down without thinking. This is drinking with thinking. I mean, this is just fantastic. Oh, wow. Mm. Cigar pairings. This is a ballsy whiskey, like Arnold Schwarzenegger ballsy. You know? So I would say... I would say for cigar pairings, I'd do a triple Maduro on this one because it can handle it. A triple Maduro, something super, super heavy, would be really good with this. It's indulgent, you know, like for dinner, you can have a piece of pork, you know, uh, with a shitload of rice because like, rice is good, everything's better with rice. And then you can have a triple Maduro cigar and have some of this, and you've got the Trinity right there. Pork, triple Maduro, combo more, and rice. And that's, that's a four, but almost a Trinity. So, I recommend getting this bottle, <clears throat> even if you have to commit moral acts to get it, do it, you know, um, I, I highly recommend that. Until next time, make sure you eat, smoke, drink, tell me about your common more experience, have you tried this particular bottle? Because I want to know your thoughts, did you like it? Um, did I miss some flavours? Let me know. Cheers.